Hey everyone, it's Tim here. It's a beautiful evening in New York and really enjoying exploring the city and I've uh, been exploring Manhattan all day. Fantastic place and uh, I just can't believe how good the food is in New York. Katz's Deli was superb and uh, Carlos Bakery was uh, certainly didn't disappoint. Those lobster tails, I can still remember them. In fact, I might go for another one. But uh, the food gets even better here in Manhattan because I found out there's an all-you-can-eat lobster buffet. Uh, I think it's a buffet, but uh, all-you-can-eat seafood and all that good stuff. And uh, this is pretty spectacular because I just recently went to the Nordic Lodge Buffet, which is uh, probably one of the best I've ever been to. And uh, that was a three or four hour drive. But it's so nice to know that there's an all-you-can-eat lobster buffet right here in New York in Manhattan. I hope you're hungry. I can't wait to check it out. Uh, come on, uh, let's, uh, let's have a good meal together. Let's go. And we're just approaching. Uh, this is called the Crab House. Let's go inside. Oh. Hi. Hey, this is great. Thank you for the great table. You're welcome. All right, so I heard you had all you can eat lobster? Yes. All right. Well, I can't wait to give it a try. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy it. So, this is pretty fantastic. Uh, Jasper provided some menus here, and uh, it's an unlimited menu. All you do is check off the ones that you want, and I think we can check off everything. And oh, I see Jasper here with the wine. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers. Mm. Oh, very nice. So I think with that, we should get down to ordering. Let's see what they have. So this is not cheap. This is 105 a person, but uh, let's see what they have. So some soups and cold dishes, some chowder and clams and oysters, and then a bunch of other, oh, I don't know. These are appetizers, but I think we're going to save some room for the ones that we see here. Fresh lobster, let's go for a little bit of that. Lobster with salt and pepper and lobster claws with garlic butter. I'm actually not a big fan of the claws, but oh, lobster mac and cheese. Oh, and there's more. Dungeness crab, snow crab legs, fried sea bass, seared salmon, pants. Oh, scallops, really nice. I've never had blue crab, but I think this is the perfect time to try it with Cajun butter sauce spicy blue crab, crawfish, ooh, garlic noodles, that sounds interesting, crispy flounder and lobster stuffed cake, so it's a little bit different than a buffet, but uh, no complaints here, they bring the food to you, I'm just gonna sit back and check left, right and center, so let's go for a little clam chowder, definitely a lobster with garlic butter and just a salt and pepper lobster, and I'm gonna skip the claw, but how about some lobster mac and cheese? I know we want to stay away from the carbs, but ah, that's okay. Some Dungeness crab, some scallops, some butter, and blue crab I've never tried, although I see David Sriracha cooking that quite a bit. So I think I'm going to give that a try. Shrimp, garlic noodles, and lobster cake. So I just submitted my order and uh, I can't wait for all that food to come. And let me show you the dining room. It's kind of plexiglass-esque. It kind of reminds you of a wooden ship there. And let's take a look at the lobster. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Hi, May. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Oh. This is yeah. When you order lobster with the red patch right now, so it's live one. So this is a live one. Oh. All the lobster is about like one and a half pounds. Sometimes you're lucky you're like two pounds. These are huge. What is the largest amount of lobster someone ate? Ten lobsters. Ten lobsters. Ten lobsters. Yeah, because uh, people, people, you know, this is why we don't use the frozen lobster tail. Yeah. Because lobster tail in my frozen long time. You don't know how long they frozen. Sometimes maybe one year, two years. So we yeah. only use live one. All right. So a quick excursion for the uh, lobster tank. And I see we have some food here and they actually gave me a bib, so that's much appreciated. Let's put that on. 
I think they know that wearing white and uh, Cajun spices don't mix. So May was saying that the Old Bay prawns are the classic. Oh, hi, what is this? It's fellow Really nice, thank you. Wow, you guys are fast. Thank you, lobster cake. So the food is coming fast and furious. I haven't even had a chance to sit down. I have three plates already and then some bread. So let me show you the table so far because it's quite a unique setup. So we've got this huge massive trash can here. I think that's for all the shells. Nice and clean. And there is a much needed box of napkins. Uh, the bread, as we said, will skip. Uh, my, a very nice bubbly Chardonnay. And speaking of butter, we've got the butter and some lemon, the scallops, the lobster cake, and the Old Bay Shrimp. Oh, what do you have there? This is the... Oh my good... The lobster... Thank you so much! Frankie! Yeah. Oh my goodness, what do you have there? Uh, sort of have a lobster. Yeah. Very good. Oh, great. Thank you so much. There's not enough room. I didn't think it was coming out so fast. Beautiful. Oh. See, enjoy. Thank you, Frankie. It's the lobster macaroni cheese. Oh, Frank, cheese. Also, lobster. Oh, thank you. Very hot, right? Enjoy. Every, Frankie, every time I see you, there's more and more food. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Yes, yes. Did I get Dungeness crab? Yeah. I did. Oh, my yes. goodness. All right, so I am in so much trouble here, but uh, it's a nice problem to have. Hey, Alan. Hey, Diana. This is fantastic. I hear everyone singing happy birthday. And Alan, it's your birthday? Awesome. Thank How, you. What's your favorite? Um, my favorite was the, the, um, the, the noodles. The noodles? Oh, I... You should try it right now. This one here? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. Alan, happy birthday. Nice to meet you, Diana. All right. So fantastic folks here. Unfortunately, I need to eat something. So as Diana was saying, the noodles first. And I'm dying to try the scallops. So get the plate and let's dig in. So the wonderful noodles, have the betta noodles on the plate and uh, we'll top it off with a shrimp as if that wasn't enough seafood. I think a little bit of scallops. Oh it's got a nice crusty buttery layer at the bottom. All right let's give this a try. A little bit of noodles first. Oh, Diana was so right. They're kind of like the garlic noodles of uh, San Francisco. Mm. Mm. So flavorful. I'm gonna try that scallop next. Oh, scallop is so sweet and succulent. Again, that ocean briny sweetness and a uh, little bit of the noodles will really help. Mm. The scallop with the noodles is a superb combination. The noodles are quite intense and the, the scallops are quite delicate, so it's a nice balance or counterbalance. Mm. Cheers. Oh, but this isn't just about noodles and scallops. I think we need to try the lobster next. So let's dig in. And oh, I can feel it. It's already perfectly cooked perfectly steamed. Oh, and it just comes right out. <laughs> Cheers. This is crazy. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Perfectly cooked. Great texture and just soft and melts in the mouth. Mm. Mm. That's so good. <laughs> These lobsters are not small lobsters either. Usually at a buffet, I remember this fantastic buffet in Vegas, the Silverton buffet with their unlimited lobster. Very good too. And those lobsters were little, very small canner lobsters. And I think they were even smaller than that. These are not. And these are fresh, mm, not frozen lobster tails, but real live lobsters and it makes a difference. Oh, and let's try the claw and this is great because they actually do the cracking for you on the claws already. All right. Oh, 
comes off there. Let's see if I can get the uh, claw out. Oh, look at this. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. Well, maybe not as proud. I lost one, but not bad at all. And if it's missing butter, they got that covered. Let's dunk it in here. All right, <laughs> cheers. Mm. Very good. And I love the fact that they crack it for you too. What to try next? Oh, this is fantastic. Do you want to join me? All right, All right come having, on. What we're having? Well, what do you want? <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're enjoying it, right? First time? I'm in trouble. Oh, why? I think I've ordered too, too much. much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for one, yeah. If you had another person, this would be a adjustment. Mm -hmm. All right. So good luck. <laughs> Thank you. We'll do. People are fantastic here. Uh, Erica and me and Jasper and Frankie. And every time I see Frankie, I get more food. So I'm kind of trying to avoid him. But let's definitely go for the lobster cake. Ooh, these are nice and crispy. But I suspect they might be a bit cold. A little bit of tartar sauce. Oh, it just crumbles. Look at that. Not too much filler. Mm. As good as that lobster was, I think the lobster cake on par. Oh, so quite meaty. A little bit of filler, but that's actually needed because uh, it gets more variety here. But it provides a little bit more variety and so flavorful. Mm. Very nice. Oh, and I see Jasper coming. Oh, well, I'm not sure if I can finish all this, but uh, is it your signature? Yeah. Okay, well, I, maybe just a little piece. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. So Jasper sold me on the iron steak. And, uh, you know, I remember Will Rogers once said, if uh, stupidity got us into this mess, then uh, why can't it get us out? So I'm just going to stick with that today and uh, we'll see what happens. Cheers. Next up, I think we've got the lobster mac and cheese. It's been sitting a while, but it looks really good still. Mm, very cheesy. Lots of lobster macaroni is wonderfully cooked and uh, lots of creamy uh, goodness mm. oh i see jasper coming again oh nice oh okay sure oh oh really nice Oh, thank you, Jasper. So, so this is raw, right? This, this is raw, but you can. Uh, it's, oh. The pan is still cooking on some there. And I need to eat this right away. Uh, probably, yeah. All right. Oh boy! So I'm gonna grab one right now. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Oh, hot. Oh. Ooh. Oh, nice and buttery and garlicky with the garlic sauce. And it's still hot and bubbly. And as I'm eating it, I can feel the beef cooking, just perfectly cooked. And the nice thing is that they have paper towel as our tablecloth, so no worries that I'm making a mess. Mmm. Mmm. Second piece is much better than the first, not as hot. Definitely try the iron steak. It's a really interesting texture, nice and cooked on the outside, so tender because inside, but that's a very sharp gradient between cooked and uh, medium rare. Very nice, <laughs> but you got to eat it quick. Mm. Mm. Actually, definitely get the iron steak or the iron sizzling steak. I thought it was a lot, but it was so easy to finish because it, it's just so Moorish. So there's nothing better than buttered lobster, except for deep fried lobster. I think uh, these things we're going to move off to the side. Not No room for that now. All right. This one I think we need to cut into. Right now it's not time, no time for manners. We'll just use our hands and oh, that's just coming out so nicely there. Look at that. I think I will use my fork. 
โอ้โห it's uh, coming out quite nice oh look at that I know it's deep fried but a little bit of butter never hurts or a lot of butter mm. Mm. thank goodness for the bib mm. A little bit of crunch, nice black pepper, and lots of butter. Oh, this is completely seafood overload. I'm so glad they have that piece of broccoli. Broccoli never tasted that good. Mm. So the one thing I need to try are the blue crabs. I've never had them before. I'm so curious. And let's give them a try. Oh, look at that nice little red uh, goodness there. Mm, not spicy at all. Very flavorful. Let's try the crab. All right. So I'm actually having a little bit of struggle. I'm not sure how to eat blue crabs, but maybe May. Can you help me with the blue crabs? Yeah, yeah. So blue crab usually the whole crab gonna be like that. So yeah. Just a lot of Americans they don't know how to eat this one. It's just you eat it to break up. Okay. So you open the back side here first. Oh, and, the back side yeah, first. And, shows, yeah. and that unlocks the front. Yeah. When you see orange stuff right yeah. here, it means this one is the female is caviar. Your oh, the caviar. Oh. Take off the soft things right So here. that I know you can't eat. That's yeah, the lungs. Yeah, you can eat. Just take off right there. All right. Yeah, you just open it right there. It's easier, yeah. Oh, okay. This is meat, meat tastes mostly than other crab, but one day it got a lot of work on it. Oh, nice. And then you just bite into yeah, it? Yeah, just bite right in. Are the shells edible? No, no. Okay. It's not such a crab, yeah. All right, all right. Let's give that a try. Thank you. Yeah, all right, my first blue crab, all prepared and uh, shelled by May. Cheers. Mmm. All right. Definitely having the, the caviar of the crab. This is a lot of work, but very sweet. All right, I'm just gonna crack this open and I see little lumps of meat. I think that's what you're supposed to eat. Oh, very nice. I'm gonna dip that in that wonderful sauce. Oh, May is right. That is so sweet. Mm, very nice. Yeah, we can't eat the shells. So I saw this thing on TikTok <clears throat> where you eat corn on a skewer. Let's give that a try. We'll just roll the corn in this wonderful goodness here. Maybe this is too small, but what I heard is that you take a skewer, poke it through the kernels there, and let's see if it comes out. No, okay. That's just a TikTok uh, thing. But anyhow, Let's just uh, roll this around. Let's give that a try. Mm. So sweet and so much Cajun flavor. So the blue crab is kind of messy, but uh, very delicious. And uh, I think I'm just gonna continue trying to finish this off. The Dungeness crab certainly looks good. And I'm wondering if I can ask May to show me how to open the crab. I know how to deshell a Dungeness crab, but I figured it might be nice just to have her open one for me. But anyhow, I'm just going to continue finishing this up and I'll take it back. Uh, hopefully they have some dessert. So that was a lot of food. I just could not finish the noodles. And as good as those shrimp were, there was just too much. And it was very nice of me to open the Dungeness crab for me. She only did one. Uh, and I think she caught on when I asked her to explain it over and over again. But it was very delicious. And uh, let me show you what we have for dessert. This isn't part of the buffet, but they were nice enough to offer the dessert. This is a piece of cheesecake. And since we're in New York, I guess it's a New York cheesecake. And what better with cheesecake than ice cream? Let's dig into the cheesecake. Oh. Mmm, that is fantastic. So rich, really nice graham cracker crust and rich and luscious. Mmm, and I think it tastes better because it's in New York. So this is the Crab House, unlimited all-you-can-eat lobster, and they call this the Lobster Seafood Buffet. 
and uh, it's actually quite to point. So this is reminiscent of the Nordic Lodge buffet, but they're in New York, Manhattan. And if you don't want to drive three or four hours to Rhode Island, which you should, uh, this is a very nice alternative as well. Uh, Nordic Lodge is more of a traditional buffet. Friendly folks there, very homely, as they are friendly here as well. And this is a little bit different, but very good. So thank you so much for joining. and. Uh, Thank you to everyone who recommended different places to eat, not only in New York, like Cat's Deli, which is fantastic, but in Montreal, in Toronto, and really appreciate you guys reaching out and giving such great suggestions. So I hope you're enjoying the holidays. And until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well and I hope you're eating well as well. So uh, all the best to you and God bless. Cheers. Mm. There's always room for Hagen Doss. Mm. Mm.